maintenance. We talked about it in the last video, but we really didn't dive deep into it. We talked about the how, but we didn't talk about the why. In healthcare service, it is surprising to see that maintenance is a thing because we mostly don't think about it. It's just tools to take care of your nails. How could there be a maintenance, right? It is because of the thing that we call safety. It is vital to sterilize metal implements, sanitize wooden tools, and disinfect hand and foot spa machines as well as environmental surfaces before and after each use. Contaminated tools can cause bacterial and fungal infections that are unsightly, painful, and sometimes fatal. There are several methods of cleaning and sterilization. Hold up. I'ma finish this, but first, let's not forget about activity, shall we? I'ma start with this! And this! Alright, that's it. Back to the lesson. As I was saying, there are several methods of cleaning and sterilization. First, you gotta sterilize metal implements after each use in a hospital grade disinfectant that is bactericidal, virucidal, and fungicidal. This disinfectant can be found in beauty supply stores. Immerse the tools in the disinfectant for 10 minutes. Next, disinfect foot basins after each use with a bleach solution. Make a 1 is to 10 solution by mixing 1 part bleach to with 10 parts water. Using gloves, rinse the basin with the solution to disinfect. If necessary, scrub with the detergent to remove any dirt or debris. Now next is use a boiling method with sterilization once a month to disinfect all metal implements. Designate one pot for sterilization to prevent cross-contamination with food. Submerge the tools in boiling water for 10 minutes. Drain the tools and allow them to dry. Next, store sterilized metal implements in an airtight, zipper-sealed bag to keep them from being exposed in dirt and bacteria. Be sure tools are completely dry before storing them. If waiting more than a couple of weeks before the next nail care service, sterilize the tools again before use. And last, Inspect tools and equipment regularly to identify defective bonds for repair, replacement, or contamination. Now these are the methods in cleaning your tools and equipment in nail care service. But how about the workspace? In the workspace, all beauty salons must be well lighted and well ventilated and must be in good sanitary condition. The salon premises must be free from rodents, vermin, flies, or other similar insects. All salon establishments must be provided with continuous running hot and cold water. The curtain and floor coverings in the salon must be washable and kept clean. All hair used cotton and other waste materials must be removed from the floor immediately and deposited in a closed container. Get rid of them from the salon premises at frequent intervals. The restrooms must be well sanitized and be provided with individual towels. Each beautician must wear a washable uniform while working on clients. Each client must be provided with a freshly laundered towel and all waste material should be disposed of in an enclosed waste bin fitted with polythene bin liner, durable enough to resist tearing. To be honest, that's just it. The center lesson about performing basic preventive and corrective maintenance. Well, if that's just it, you know what's next. Man, I really want to know how you can get activities in such a short lesson. But anyway, here's one. Here's one. And another one. And we're done. For now. With basic preventive and corrective maintenance. But with that, we're done with how. How to do maintenance. Let's go with why. As a competent manicurist, your goal is to give the highest professional nail care service to your client. Thus, all occupational health and safety procedures should be observed at all times, whether in a nail salon or even in your on-call services. But again! It's getting pretty tiring, isn't it? 
or maybe it's just me doing this video again the same day for this discussion at 2 a.m. But anyway, answered this. And this. Now, in every workplace, hazard is inevitable. That is why it is important to know safety procedures for every workplace. Employers have a general duty to ensure the health, safety, and welfare of their employees, clients, visitors, and others who may be affected by workplace activities. Accident preventative measures are within the control of the management. As a human, we make mistakes. No one is perfect, but that's the thing. Occupational Health and Safety or OHS is a planned system of working to prevent illness and injury at work by recognizing and identifying hazards and risk. Health and safety procedures is the responsibility of all persons in the beauty service industries. You must identify the hazards where you are working and evaluate how dangerous they are. Eliminate the hazard or modify the risk that it presents. Now, let's distinguish what is harm, risk, and hazards, okay? First off, harm. Harm is the adverse health effects on something or someone under certain conditions at work. While risk is the chance or probability that a person will be harmed or experience an adverse health effect if exposed to a hazard. And when we say hazards, it is the harm or adverse health effects on something or someone under certain condition at work. Now, identifying workplace hazards means looking for those things at your workplace that have the potential to cause harm. There are many hazards present at a beauty salon, and that deserves your attention. Let's start off with electrical hazard, okay? Many of the electrical appliances used in the beauty salons can create serious health and safety risks, particularly in wet conditions. Damage to equipment increases this risk. Electrical shock can result in electrocution, burns, and injuries from falls. Next is chemical hazard. These are substances used and or produced at work that have the potential to harm the health and safety of people at work. Health effects of some hazardous substances include skin irritation, coughs, asthma, sensitization, poisoning, and cancer. Next is fire hazard. As a beauty salon staff, you must be aware of and trained in fire and emergency evacuation procedures in the workplace. Next is biological hazards, or as we know it as biohazards. They also refer to the biological substances that pose a threat to the health of living organisms, primarily that of humans. Microorganisms live on skin, in food, and in dirt, and are easily spread between your clients and manicures or pedicures and are easily transferred by contact with unwashed hands, soil equipment, or contact with blood and body substances. Next is ergonomics. Manicures and pedicures use forceful repetitive movements such as filing and buffing nails and holding uncomfortable positions for a long period of time, thereby increasing risk for musculoskeletal injuries. And last is manual handling of material and tools. Lifting and moving heavy stock materials and working at poorly designed workstations can cause injuries and muscle strains. And we're done. This entirety of Module 2 is done. What if the module ends? You know what doesn't end? Yeah, that's right lads, ladies and non-binaries, it is the activities. So strap on because if you already got 7, we got more from where it came from, starting with this. And another one. And another one. And another one. And another one. The last one. And we're done. For real. Yeah, for real, we're done. Now, in this lessons, we learn about the how and why. If that applies to basic maintenance, it can be also applied to ourselves. So let's ask this question. How are we doing and why are we doing this? Mental and physical health is our priority, and an occasion comes next after that. Do this at your own pace, lads, ladies, and non-binaries. Thank you so much for watching, stay safe, and see you on the next video.